9117 TAC adapter is used in applications where there is no available TAC signal output, such as multiple coil applications. When properly wired in, it will be wired in series with the power supply that powers all of the coils. Today we'll be installing this on a late model Ford Mustang. Here we've got the solid red wire which will be power coming into the adapter. We've got a red wire with a green stripe which will be power leaving the adapter back towards the coils. We've got the black wire which will be connected to chassis ground and a gray wire which will be the new tachometer signal output. Here we're going to mount the TAC adapter on the passenger side firewall off of the engine and away from any direct high heat sources. Now we're going to locate the power source for the ignition coils. On this Mustang there is a junction block in the passenger side engine compartment. I'll remove the cover off of this. Peel back some of the factory conduit to expose the wires. Here you can see the red wire at pin number 34. That's a common power supply for all eight coils. Now that we've located the red power wire for the coils, we're going to cut it in half, strip the ends, strip the ends of the wires on the TAC adapter. Now we can check it for power when the key is on. One half will have power, as you can see here. The other half will not. Slide a piece of heat shrink up the red and red with green stripe wires of the TAC adapter. Connect the solid red wire of the TAC adapter to the cut half that still had power on it. Twist the wires together. Now we're going to solder these wires. Make sure that you heat the wire up enough that you get some good penetration with the solder. Next we've hooked up the red wire with a green stripe of the TAC adapter to the other cut half. Solder this one as well. Slide the heat shrink tubing down over the soldered connections. You can shrink this down using either a heat gun or a cigarette lighter. The TAC adapter requires a good ground path. For this location we chose the factory hood ground strap. Remove the strap. Attach the ground wire from the TAC adapter and simply reinstall. Now that we've finished up most of the wiring for our TAC adapter, we can go ahead and secure the wiring using some zip ties. Install some of the factory wiring conduit. Secure that with some black electrical tape. Reinstall the cover for the junction connector. And now we're ready to try out our new TAC adapter. For test purposes, hook the tachometer up directly to the battery. Hook the green tachometer signal wire to the gray wire of the TAC adapter and start the engine. Now we can mount the tachometer inside the vehicle and route the signal wire out to the engine bay and permanently hook it up to the tach adapter. Now that we're done wiring up our tach adapter completely, we can go ahead and clean up the wiring. Take your time when doing this for a nice neat appearance. <laughs> 